Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one zero negative one negative two negative three. We're gonna go on negative eighteen. Ready? Negative four. Negative five. Negative six. Negative seven. Negative eight. Negative nine. Negative ten. Negative eleven. Negative twelve. Negative All that sounded real mumble jumble. Negative seventeen. Negative eighteen. Baby, this is the negative seventeen. Negative eighteen. Baby, that's one reason why I love you. You're my all girl. We skipped the part. Okay. <laughs> Things that I do. You're, You're still here, girl. girl. <laughs> Damn! What's up, well, y'all? Welcome back to the podcast. I'm Pim John the Rock Suit. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blades. Man, um... God, side note, that was one of the first concerts I went to. For real? Yes. Fun. Uh, How uh, old you? uh, Too young to be singing IMX's uh, My First Time. <laughs> oh, what a banger. What a banger. Because it was that tour. <laughs> But actually, but too young, but <coughs> not too young. Cause we, yeah. Oh, God. Seeing life ever. Um, oh, I love my. Yeah. Uh, 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 Batman, Romeo, and yeah. the other guy. LDB. Yeah. Word? Oh. Yeah, Lil Drummer Boy. Oh, I never knew. I always knew Batman God. and Romeo, but never. Hey, here's some funny random shit. <laughs> when I was going to school at Gardena Valley Christian School, IMX, immature, showed up one day for 10 minutes and left. (gasps) I would have lost my shit. We were in the little chapel, like, during lunch or some shit. Or, like, you know, sometimes we would just chill in the little chapel. Because it was a little chapel and a big chapel. Not important information, but just so y'all can get a visual. And then the fucking doors open up and... It was bright outside, and it was dark inside, so they were backlit, right? Oh. So it's like, you just see these three silhouettes. Oh, my God. And so I was like, it's immature! <laughs> oh. And then they left. <laughs> and then they, they chilled for, like, a little bit, but I don't remember any interaction, interaction and they just left. Oh. Apparently, like, somebody's cousin knew somebody and just asked them to show up. Wow. I would have. And I said, go home, Roger. I was about to say, I would have said, go home, I'd have been like, I'm coming with you. (laughs) Take me with you, please. Oh, man. Uh, So random, man. Man, B2K, that was like. I Mm. (laughs) love. Oof. Hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) That's hilarious. (laughs) I normally do that in private when no one's looking. (laughs) My body just was like, oh, you said B2K. I was like, oh, Oh, my God. That's hilarious. I was um I did fangirl Loki when we had what you call it on. Remember? We had him on. You talking about spectacular? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spectacular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the boy band yeah. days, all of them. I mean shit, let us get a spice girl in here. Oh <laughs> 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 Um speaking of like feeling old, I was telling y'all this during lunch, but like I was on set with this girl the other day, um, who you know, like, she saw me, she said hi, and then she was like, oh my God, I grew up watching your videos. And normally, look, people say that to me all the time, but this was the first time being, like, working with somebody, a peer, right, who was like, wow, I grew up watching your videos. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn, you know, yeah, that's that's dope, that's dope, thank you, you know what I'm saying? You feel a little old, but you're like, oh, I'm I'm gracious, you know, I realize I've been doing this shit for a long time. And then later when we like like followed each other on Instagram, she was like, she was like, wow, man, my childhood. I'm like, shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Bro, I, I think I have the worst of those stories. Please share. I was somewhere with Tway, right? This lady comes up with her daughter. Her daughter is a big fan of Tway. Watches all her videos and shit. So she wants to take a picture. They're taking a picture. And then the mama's like, I used to watch you when I was oh, young. Oh, like, shit. <laughs> okay. Damn. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck, well, you, you started early. That's what that is. <laughs> I ain't that old lady. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but adorable. Yeah. Well, damn. Well, let's let's get into it, man. Speaking of like being an OG in the game, okay. Today's guest, what a blessing and an honor, because um, when I started YouTube, it was when YouTube was first starting out. This was like 2006. You know what I'm saying? And there was a whole first class, first generation of us who were in that wave of, I guess, you know, popular YouTubers, right? And this lady right here, wow. 
pioneer in the game. Been doing. You might have seen her doing all types of challenges all over your timeline. Interviewing President Obama. I mean, she's got the signature look. She's just. I mean, and and just just a pioneer in the game. Uh, give it up for Glozell. Yeah. Wow, Glozell. Hi. Hello, this Glozell. Is you okay? Is you good? Cause I want to know. Hey. Wow. Okay. I heard y'all talking about what. Immature, mm -hmm. yes. but then they changed their name to I'm Mature. I am No, I'm, they went to I'm Mature first. After that, right? No, they, that's, you are like that's before that's now. Yes, because they didn't. You didn't have to change the spelling. It was Immature to I'm Mature. <laughs> Is that what they did? Yes, that's hilarious. And then you, you know, mm -hmm. and then they was like, "That's what stupid." Happened? Okay, yeah. I'm X. <laughs> and you are still Glozell. I'm still Glozell, but you have changed. G Lozell. Oh. G Lozell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to change the spelling. G Lozell. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I changed. You yeah, know? because was, you're you were Timothy and you had another name. It was a number of reasons. Uh, I because just, you're not black. I just, I mean, there was that was that. <laughs> but I thought it was from Fresh Prince. It obviously. was. I mean, and there was there was that. It was from the Fresh Prince. And then I had a whole epiphany. Long story short, it was like, let me stop trying to be the new Fresh Prince and let me just be me, Tim Chantarangsu, oh, the old Tim. Embrace my real name. It was a whole thing. I felt during the pandemic, I was like, if I died today, would I want to be remembered as this silly YouTube name I made up? You know what I'm saying? And I was like, in the future, as I see myself accepting like Academy Awards right. from like, I don't know, Glenn Close or whatever, right. don't want her to be like, hey, Timothy De La Ghetto, that's my YouTube name. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, let me start using my real ass government name and in the process also represent for like my family and my Thai peoples and because, you know, when you come up with a stage name, for me, I was like, I'm going to need a stage name so that they, because they're not going to be able to say Chantarang suit. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, man, look, if they can say Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger and, yeah. and Scherzinger, they can say Chantarang suit. It isn't, it's really not that hard. You just got to sound it out. I can't uh, say that second one still. Scherzinger? Yeah. I just learned how to say it right. Yeah, no. I was saying Schwarzinger for yeah, so long because you called pants. her Nicole Swishy Pants. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's Scherzinger. Uh, so it was a number of reasons. And like, you know, the 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 younger generation that doesn't realize it's from the Fresh Prince, right. they want to hit me with a, now why is he calling himself ghetto? Even though I did grow up in a part of Long Beach, which people would, could, would consider ghetto, but that was never what it was anyway. Right. So I'm like, let me just. Okay. So yeah. And now you're married? It's like since the <laughs> Last time I've seen, like, I'm with, hello, I'm playing catch up here. Yes, we're having a conversation. Yes, yes. So you got, are, are you married to her? No, no, oh, okay. no, no, no. Are you married to him? I'm sorry, I'm open. <laughs> no, like, that's no. my day one. Okay. That's my side day thing. two. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I'm February 15th, not the 14th. <laughs> yeah, okay, the side chick. Got it. <laughs> I understand. Um, but yes, I'm married with a child. You with a child? Yes, goes out. I have a baby. Oh, my goodness. Now, is this the group? Because, okay, if it's not, then you can edit it out. But is this the girl that you always was dating? It's been like 10 years. Yes. Okay. Yes, good. Yes, good. Yes. Good. Well, which one do you remember? Yes. You, I'm right. I feel like you were going to Miami or someplace. I don't know. Florida. I, what I did she know. look like in your head? You. <laughs> <laughs> she's supposed to see her face on with some long hair. That's what I remember. I mean, neither of them have been Asian. Okay, so no, I I never met them. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, so I it was just somebody that you were flying. It was a long time, and you would fly to go see them. Oh yes, were, that one, okay. that one, yes, that one. You married that one? Yes, I did. Oh good, yeah. oh good, 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 good. good. Yeah. Sorry about the other hope, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's fine. Okay. Yeah, she's good too. She's, she's up next. Come on in. From what? From as far as I know. Um, yeah, we don't know about. Yes, her. I got a baby now. She's a year old. You got two babies. Oh, I have one. Oh, I thought you had two. No, I want. A, you know, it's very interesting. I talked to the IVF doctor again, and he was like, "You five years older now. Like you was too old last time. You know that like your child is literally a miracle, and now you trying to come back. Yes, I am. You know, how old? Because I like in between husbands, but I'm like that's still want to have kids. So you know, I, I didn't need them last time. I, exactly. You know, I can, you just grow it in the test tube like you did before. Mm -hmm. There you go. How old is yours? Five. Five. And yours, you said one. one. Oh, my goodness. That is a great age. You're like, okay, they're still alive. I survived this. Because yes. in the beginning, you're like, oh, my gosh, you're still sleeping? You're still awake? Yeah. You're still alive? It, you know, you still, so. you, like, and then it's like, you still sleeping? 
Are you, yeah, are you right. sleeping? Or? <laughs> you eat this or you eat that and you're like, oh, you know, so you're a little paranoid. But now you get to chill after a year. I was just talking to some dude, uh, this dude on set the other day who, who he has a three-year-old and he has a, a five-month-old, right? And he was telling me, he's like, yeah, man, um, what's interesting about when they get a little older than the current stage is it's not about just keeping them alive anymore. You realize you actually got to teach them how to be a decent human being yeah. and i'm like oh shit and i had my first ever thought like that the other day because you know we take beta to these little like baby gym oh, beta. play together yeah yes. that's my name we take her to these little play together baby gym situations and it was the first time where i seen veda and another baby reach for the same toy uh -oh. and i'm like damn i've never told her to share in her whole life a whole year you <laughs> pulled out the camera world star baby <laughs> baby baby you better win baby because <laughs> there was never a reason to it's right, been yeah. us at the house you know yeah. like oh shit I gotta really start giving her some value <laughs> yeah. it's kind of crazy that's fun yeah, um, well, how did it go who, who got yeah. the toy who Oh, no, I ended up just socking them both and snatching them. <laughs> yeah. That's that only child Mouse syndrome. Game. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I like that you have her in classes because from day one, Ozell has been in so many classes. Ozell. Yes, Ozell. People True. are like, is that really her name? I'm like, yes. <laughs> That's, my name is really my name. I didn't name myself. So, right. yeah. So, there's tennis. She takes Mandarin, karate. She's in cheer. You know, so yeah, I keep, keep her busy. That's dope. Because she don't want to go to sleep, so. <laughs> if you're going to be up, then you're going to be doing something. Mm hmm Well, Glozelle, first of all, thank you for coming. It, it was such an honor. I'm like, oh my goodness, he's run out of people. <laughs> He's no. totally run out of people. Like you, like you didn't even have my phone number. Like you're like I got it from like twelve. You know, for a person who knew somebody who knew somebody. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, you know, it wasn't that I ran out of people. It was I had saw I'd seen a video. Um, well, first of all, kids are always tagging me in the escape the night shit. So all I'm always, the time. Yeah. So are they still escaping the night? They st uh, they I don't know if they're still doing that. So it was a show, Nikki Blaze, <laughs> yes. that we did a few years ago. It was on YouTube Red. Yes. Is there even a YouTube Red? Like no, there's not a YouTube Red anymore. Okay. Redman was in the third season. Yeah. yeah. So we were, me and Glow Cell were on the first season, Escape the Night. You wore your oh little... my God, I remember. I couldn't walk at the time. Yes. <laughs> you were on crutches. I broke my leg. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Glozelle I... broke her leg going down a slide or yes, a pole? A, a fireman's pole. pole, and I'm not a fireman. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a reason. Stripper pole? <laughs> yeah, I, I would have taken that, but like my, my ankle, my whole right leg is oh. metal. Oh, damn. so that's fun in uh, you know an airport. <laughs> <laughs> no. And um, and I first of all, you know, so people always tag me in that, so I'm always seeing your face, right? Aww. But then I had seen an interview you did with Candy mm -hmm. where you were just like talking about like just the wave roller coaster Ooh. experience you've yes. gone through yes. since your time on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I'm like, let me bring Glozell on as a fellow. OG YouTuber yes, yes. and just discuss her story because I feel like it's interesting for anybody who like watched us from day one. From you know day what I'm saying? Because we're what you call an OG. I wanted to also bring up before I forgot that we were on a game show together. Yes, it was the uh, where you say stuff fast. Yes, is that show still on? I don't think so. Okay, good because they gave me all the answers. That's how I won. What? I wanted to tell you that for the longest time, I'm like, I got the answers before the show, and I destroyed you on the show, but I, I, because they gave me the that, <laughs> that actually makes me so angry. I was was, like, was it like a real, or was it the ones they used to do at the YouTube space? No, so, it was it's on like the game show. It was on TV. Uh, like it was real like one? Legit. It was on TV. Yeah, get all the hands. It wasn't for money or anything, yeah. but it was, you know me, I, I'm competitive. Oh my yeah. God. Wait, I'm stuff. like in. I, I'm so mad for you. Uh, don't <laughs> be mad at me, though. No, not at you. Okay. No, not they, at you. you. Yeah, because you were still ghetto, so maybe that. <laughs> maybe they, couldn't have, they couldn't have me winning. Yeah. They were like, this name is. Uh, and I knew it like, they were like, gosh, you're so smart. I'm like, I. I'd seen them all. God. Because I'd be really trying to win that shit. That's hilarious. If you I, if yeah. you really knew his passion for wow. things like that. That's why I'm... You had no chance. You had no wow. chance. Wow. <laughs> I got all wow. the answers. Anyways. Oh, <laughs> so funny. I just wanted to come clean about that because I was like... So now the episode oh, is over. That's so funny. Let me tell you, I watch Jeopardy every day. Every day. They might life. get the answers. I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Well, wow. Thank you, thank you for clearing that up. I appreciate it. Yeah, like, because I, I knew I was better than you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. something wasn't right. Yes. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I wanted to talk to you about you, uh, just your story. I feel like you have an interesting story. Thank you know, you. like especially look, not a lot of people have 
been on YouTube since the jump, like we have, right. you right. know. And um, and every once in a while, you know, it's always people that are like, oh, like people, I, you know, every once in a while, I see a a tweet. What happened to Timothy? They like, yeah. <laughs> oh, was like, I'm still here, y'all. I'm just yeah. doing other shit, you know. Exactly. Right. So I want to do like, hey, what happened to Glozell? What's she up? to? Where is she now? Yeah. Um, I'm here with Timothy, not ghetto. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Now, you know I'm a lazy boy. There's nothing more that I love than just being able to order food on my app and not leaving the house and not talking to nobody, not seeing anybody, ordering food for the wife, ordering food for the baby. We don't do no cooking in this house. Are you craving late night ice cream? Forget that one Cree ingredient for dinner. Or maybe you need to stock up for the week. With DoorDash, get everything in one app. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and the Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy, you stupid idiot. And your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery drop-off. And just for y'all, I got a special treat. For a limited time, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app, okay? Enter code NOCHASER, and that's 25% off of the $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code NOCHASER. Don't forget, one more time, that's code NOCHASER for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Sub subject to change, terms apply. All right, guys, let's talk about honey. Okay, do you shop online often? Cause Lord knows I do and I love it. I don't have to go anywhere. I can just be in my underwear online shopping is great. Okay, so let's talk about why honey is lit. Okay, how often do you feel like you just have a promo code ready to go? Never, right? Well, thanks to honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shipping tool. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. How does it work? Imagine you're shopping one of your favorite sites and you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons, wait a few seconds as Honey searches for all the coupons it can find for that site, all right? If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop just like that. Honey has saved me money on lots of funny things like a, a bunny shirt, and um, uh, sunny shades, okay? I was surprised that it saved me that much money. How much did I save? She, like half off on those shades and that shirt. Honey, and, and it was super easy to use, okay? Did you know that Honey even offers cash back at thousands of stores? It's like earning cash rewards just for shopping, all right? And just for y'all, I got a special treat. If you don't already have Honey, you can be straight up missing out, okay? All you gotta do, do yourself a favor and support this podcast. Y'all know I would never recommend something I don't use. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash no chaser. That's joinhoney.com slash no chaser. Um, well, th the finances, right? Like you think the money's going to always come because your work is always out there and people know you and you're at the height and, you know, I'm sitting at the White House talking to my cousin like, what's up? <laughs> right. You know, blah, blah, you know, and it's great. And then, you know, they just change you know you feel like you're so loyal to this company that like you've given your heart to and of course they've given back to you by giving you this platform you know and i'm like youtube is free you could just post up there and everybody can see and they change how you see things mm. you know like you can i have almost like five million followers and like like who's who's seeing my stuff mm -hmm. it, it changed like overnight mm -hmm. now when it changed overnight your check changed overnight mm -hmm. that's true and you know, but you still living up here. Like mm. rent doesn't change, mm. right. you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, bills don't change. And I was doing a lot. I was doing IVF for the second child, and that is expensive mm -hmm. for me. A person who couldn't carry it was over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars because you got to pay for the surrogate. Mm -hmm. That surrogate has to go to the doctors. That you yeah. know, you got to get checked out way before you get implanted, and then you grow on a child. You know, mm -hmm. and then you got to visit the child. You're going to. It's not like she was a neighbor. You have to go wherever she is going yeah. to to the doctor's office and if she has a job and she doesn't have a job or, or she has to be laid up for a little bit, yeah. you know, like you got, she's got to oh, eat. God. You got to yeah. pay for all that, you know? And I had it like that, yeah. you know? You know, I went from like $10 a day to like $10,000 a month and, you know, money all, all the time. You do one tweet, you get 25,000 here. Like I, crazy, wow. yeah. crazy like that until, 
you know, like I hope, you know, the, can, you, can you give me something, mm. you know, no. besides the product? Because, you know, you get free stuff all the time, right. but that don't mean you're getting paid. Right, right. Now then people still think you living like that because you're still on the red carpet. Mm. You know, I'm like, well, if you can send me a lift, then I will get there. Right. You know, but um, and, and I'm thinking like, OK, it's all going, it'll change, it'll change, it'll change. Then a divorce. Now that is how you, you think a wedding is expensive. Divorce mm. is a humbling experience. Wow. You know what I'm telling you? I'm like, and then people you think that are friends that you know from YouTube, the people that you think are your friends that you know from just family life. Yeah. Mm. Where are they? Chirp, chirp, mm. gone, gone, gone. Mm. And then there's some people who enter your life when you're at the lowest. But like, I know that I'm not staying down here. Right. So are we all going to go up? And then they get mad at you when you start like, now I'm going to Timothy Day. Like, oh, Timothy show. And, and, <laughs> and doing this, I'm back, you know, doing yeah, it. And now they mad at you or they're like, oh, okay. You're you supposed know? to stay down you here. You think you better. Right, yeah. right, right. So you just like trying to find your place in the world. And, you know, there's wars breaking out. I'm like, I understand that because I'm like, we can't even. You know, get alone right here. Mm. Yeah. You know, over this, like, I'm just take care of me and mine. And I was never that yeah. person. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But you you get older, it's like, I don't have enough heartbreaks anymore, you know, heartbreaks for friends that I, I'm carrying. And then they make it and then they don't talk to you or, mm. or wow. you know, like, I just don't have that anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um... That YouTube algorithm, I mean, everybody talks about the algorithm, the right? Algorithm. <laughs> it's really, it's fucked up. And it's, it's so, I mean, it's- People the, have left. People that are known from YouTube. A lot of people left, you know, and it's, I mean, that's why when people ask, like, what happened to the early YouTubers, right? And like you said, it, it changed, it, it, it's so much different than it was mm -hmm. where I could, you know, for, for, for what we hear, right? And the reason why I feel like a lot of people just started doing podcasts mm -hmm. is YouTube- wants to push more content that keeps people on the site longer, which is why longer content works, right? So, but then like you and me, we were doing little short, funny yeah, videos yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And um, I, I can literally, I checked my shit the other day, my analytics, right? And it's literally, cause I got like 4 million subscribers mm -hmm. and it says <clears throat> like 15% of my subscribers actually see my videos popping up. Okay. Something like that, that right? That is so disappointing because it has nothing to do with your work, though. Yeah. And that's what really makes it hard to continue on that platform. And then, they, you know, they got to hit a bell and shit to be notified. And motherfuckers don't be wanting to hit a bell. You know what no, I'm saying? I, I don't even know how to upload anymore. I don't think I, I don't like, when have I uploaded something before? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, a bell. I heard about that. And I'm like, I... I, my love now is Instagram, mm -hmm. and I, I post here, there, and I, I'm doing more things now. However, I am breaking out. Like, I audition all the time, so mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I, I, I cheat in game shows, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, you got to do something else, and uh, voiceover work is good, mm -hmm. and thank goodness for that, because when the pandemic happened, two things happened. People did start looking at YouTube a little more because they were just sitting in the house and I'm yeah. getting discovered by another group, you mm -hmm. know, a younger group all the time. And then um, voiceover stuff, mm -hmm. that, that, that's great. That's hard yeah. to break into, too. It, it is. It is. It's one of those groups, like, once you in, you in. Yeah. It's a. It's almost like a little Because everybody's like, I can club. talk. Everybody can talk. You know? yeah. But once you in, you, you're in. But it's, it is really crazy, even the acting game, because I'm like, can... Certain actresses, please get a steady job so you're not at the audition. I don't want to see you, oh, yeah. Tracy Ellis Ross. I don't want to see you, you know, Sherry Shepard. Thank God you have a show. I've been praying for these people because I'm up against the same. I'm like, why am I up against Tracy Ellis? I'm like, why? Yeah. You know? But I'm like, can you, can you, like, okay, blackish in, can you be like, you know, extra blackish? Can anything to keep you busy? I right. don't yeah. want to be, and you know, I'm looking at stuff all the time. I'm like, I'll audition for that. I'll audition for that. Right. Oh, girl. So, yes, I'm right there. I'll audition for that. I'll audition for that. That's who they went with. They knew they were going with her. You know, however, you only need one thing. And once you in, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. it's the same five black women working. Like, they, they keep you in, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So just, have, they have to keep going. And fortunately, I have the strength for that because so many people have started and stopped and oh, gone yeah. and quit and and I get that. But um, I mean, you gotta have the strength for it. For you sure. have to, and, and we're talking heartbreak from people that you know what you thought was your your home person. Uh, you know. So this sounds like this happened on a, a, a few. Like this wasn't only one person. That, Not like, only one person because a lot of people, especially in the YouTube world, they all connect. They all know each other. Right, right. So if you out, 
you know, mm. you out. That's so you, true. so you you saying once the views stopped, it was people that kind of like weren't yes. trying to talk like to you didn't, anymore. Yes, didn't need you. But here's the thing: you need right. They didn't need you. They, mm. And because, you know, you're not popular. Yeah. And you didn't know that because you've been popular so long. And then all of a yeah. sudden, like, oh, you so busy, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm realizing, I'm like, oh, it's the pandemic at one point. Mm -hmm. But now we're like, I'm like, oh, it wasn't. That was just, that was an excuse. Mm. Damn. And I go, that's good because something that I can't talk about now is getting ready to pop off. And I'm so thankful for those people who were fake. <laughs> because they're gone. Yeah. They've been gone. I'm like, if I'm the last person that texts you, how you doing, blah, 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 and you haven't texted me back, don't bother about it. Right. Because whatever happens next, don't call don't me. Don't bother about yeah. it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need to hear but from you. You know, like, I don't. Now you can uh, weed them all out. Yeah. They weeded themselves out. Yes. Right. You yes. know? Mm-hmm. And, and one, I'm one of those people, I didn't know I was supposed to hate somebody because you hate them. <laughs> you know what oh. I'm saying? I didn't know. I'm like, what? You don't like this person. You not talking to me because... I'm still talking to them. Mm. I'm like, Facebook is a, this, this is not real. I'm just clicking like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm clicking like, like, oh, you like them. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see what side you want. That's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 50 <laughs> in July. What like, side I didn't I'm even on? know I clicked the button. What are you talking about? Yeah, right. <laughs> the, the picture was cute. I clicked like and now I'm on. So I'm like, I'm okay. Whoop, whoop. I'm glad I know about that. Yeah. Thank you. See, that's why I don't talk to nobody but him. <laughs> you know what? True. I used to be like, don't be like that, but be like that. I mean, look. Be like man. that. Be just like that. It saves you so much. Don't even talk to her. Much. Just I know. Her. Like I said, February 15th, <laughs> he only talks to me that People day. right on the side. That's right there. I know right my position. Side. That's why I'm sitting right here right now. That part. <laughs> that part. <laughs> but it's uh, such a growing process, but a lot of people weed out, like normally in relationships, like hate to compare a relationship and a career, but you it see who, who sticks around during that time. And then when the relationship is good and you can do things together, everybody wants to hang out with you. Yeah. Then you become single and sad and they're like, ugh, I don't want to go out with you. Stop crying. But when you lose uh, like your position at work right. or something like that and nobody can gain from uh, from you, you see them disappear. But conveniently, conveniently, they show back up when things are all nice. Oh, I see you're doing so great. And they think you nice and they don't think that you will break off because right. the clothes went, oh, it's smiling, the green lips. The... <laughs> mm -hmm. don't, don't call, don't text. Yeah. I'm I'm good. Yeah. yeah. You know? So that in, people are in for a rude awakening, including my ex. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Including. Yeah. I'm like, I've been nice and nice and nice and nice. But when you get to that breaking point, yeah. I feel Ain't sorry for you. And they shocked because I've been able to walk over you. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know. Even with the metal Ooh. leg. You got and the metal. You I'm can walk hopping. even better now. Okay. Yeah, I'm hopping. <laughs> oh, I'm beeping, but I'm hopping. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you just surprised that, oh, oh she yeah. really left. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, I did. Cause I mean, it's been a long time, man. We, you, I, I started YouTube back in like two thousand six. How, what, what year did 2005. you? Two thousand five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when did you? Okay, so let me we met at Makers. Yes, we met at Maker, mm -hmm. and I feel like you know when when you've been doing this shit for so long. Mm -hmm. I mean, we always run into each other. At yes, different things. yes. And this, um, it was really good seeing you today. Like I was like, oh yeah. I'm like, this was our family. We we were ground breakers. Like no one, people did not understand the internet. Yeah. You know and. It, it was almost better when they didn't because we had our own world. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. <laughs> we had our own world. They didn't they, know what the fuck. They wanted to know, but they didn't know what the they fuck didn't, was going They didn't know, and they couldn't break in. It was just like, it was like ah, you know, but it's, it's different now, and God bless them all. But. When did you realize it was going to be something that was going to be more than you just just silly videos? When were you like, oh, this is this could be something? Well, there was definitely a couple of moments. One when I uh, was walking in Costco mm. and this chick was following me and I was like okay something about to go down next to the nuts you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's always so nuts. like I'm getting ready like okay I'm about I'm gonna have to you know go street here <laughs> that big ass bag of nuts and all, all <laughs> next to the you know the economy size nuts <laughs> okay and then she's following following me and finally she's like may I take a picture with you and I was like, girl, I thought we was about to throw down. I'm like, why are you following me around the whole place? I just want this cheap pizza, you know? And I was like, okay. So that was like, oh, you recognize me from the mm -hmm. internet. And then another time when I got like a check for $10 and I was like, do I spend this? Is this real money? I don't want to go to the bank and then yeah. I got to go to jail because I thought this was a, you know, real check. Like back in the day, there was, you know, there was money on paper, mm -hmm. not like, you know, direct money. I'm like, oh my goodness. So that was something I'm like, wow, if I make, get up to $10 a day, I, I can, I, I can live, you know? And um, the third was when, because I, because I could walk down 
Beverly Hills and it'll be like cute little white cats like about to die like will jump in front of cars to say hello to me and I'll go to like Crenshaw Inglewood mm. she just look crazy I don't know <laughs> I don't know who she they, they don't really do that out they there they don't really they do know, that we, we, don't, we don't know I, was, I, I really thought I'm like maybe black people don't have computers or, <laughs> or something at that time I'm like I don't understand they got, they how got you, the internet like I, you, I get it. That's, you, that's you why. don't see me. Like that's whatever. Why. But when I interviewed President Barack Obama, we had to go to the airport, right? Going to the airport, TSA, do, 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 go through the. When I came back, that's the girl that interviewed President Barack. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. It took me forever. They detained me forever. Like, what he smell like? What he look like? What, what? <laughs> oh my goodness, you touched him. Like, that, that. You know, so it was like night and day. My audience just grew. You know, people who didn't look for me because my humor is more goofy and silly as opposed to like, this mother, you know, I'm not that. Yeah. You know, I'm just kind of like, I call myself like this Sesame Street of comedy. Like, it just, you know, I'm just kind of goofy. You know, that that kind of thing. And not like, you know what? You know about real life stuff, you know. So but <laughs> then now I got some real life stuff. Right. You, doing? <laughs> you know, I know. I consider myself dark white, oh. and I until a point I'm like, no, they're letting you know you black. Okay, <laughs> I am black now. Okay, but I didn't start off that way. Thank you very much. <laughs> so then let's let's ask this on the other side. When did you realize? Oh shit! <laughs> and this, that's what I said. This is di- this is this is <laughs> things are changing. This is YouTube ain't doing what it was doing before. I I had this optimistic view because I'm like, you're not gonna do me like that, right? I mean, I've been with this company forever. Like, right. you're not gonna do me like that. Yeah. Like one of your original people, but you know, there was more than eight thousand. Even when I, that was more than ten years, you know, when I checked, like more than eight thousand uh, videos being uploaded a day, you know, a day, Mm -hmm. you know, so who cares about the original ones? And I I just kept thinking like, well, they're going to circle back. Mm -hmm. I've got phone numbers. I got emails, you know, Mm -hmm. you know, we started before the YouTube center or whatever call it, YouTube building, YouTube space where I broke my leg. (laughs) Do you think I got a basket of flowers from YouTube? Uh, (laughs) uh, no, you know, (laughs) but yet it is this weird relationship because I love YouTube. That's where I started. I, who would I be without them? Right, right. So as I bash them, I am thankful for them. And I pray that they don't change something. And at least, Because see, now I still get stuff because they see, you know, 4.9 million. Blah, 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 yeah. You know, like, what if they just change that? Mm. You know? Wow. I'm like, who? They, hide, they hide your numbers. For yeah, they just do, they do that. Like, well, who would I be then? You know, because I'm still riding off of what I was. You know, that, mm. that hit. Yeah. You know, you know, all those... Immature or whatever, who know that yeah. one, you sing that the, one they, song, yeah, they, they got the one hit. Song. Like, like when was the last time they had a hit? Yeah. You still know them from that one hit, you know, and that's all good. So I, so I'm reinventing in a way because I went away with the green. Now I'm back with the green, and I mix it up. Yeah, I remember you because mm-hmm. you had a whole. I'm taking the green lipstick because off. I'm trying to figure out what what you right. what's working, and I'm, I felt like I'm I was drowning, but I'm like I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep going. Try. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I'm like okay. Sometimes you gotta go to the bottom, and you just sit there and while you sit there's there, only up to go from there. I, I mean, I'm like bloop 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 bloop. <laughs> what am I gonna do? This is all I know how to do. And then it was a time for people to go. I know my husband's gonna be one of the ones mm. to go, but you know, it it was one of those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where it is. But I got a new man. Hey, hey, let's go. Hey, Cut hey, it up for that. Yes. Let's go. Uh-huh. We, always, like that, we always yes. like a new one. Look, fellas, sometimes we need a little help in the bedroom, okay? That's why I F with Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost, okay? Blue Chew's tablets combat all forms of erectile dysfunction, ED, and uh, look, man, we all go through it. Sometimes you, 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 you bust a little quicker than you'd like to, or you soften up a little sooner than you would have preferred, and that's why Blue Chew comes in to save the day, okay? The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription, okay? If you don't like swallowing pills, it's lit because there are no problems here because Blue Chew, Sildenafil, and Tadalafil tablets are chewable, all right? And just for y'all, I got a special treat. Try Blue Chew free when you use your promo code T-I-M, Tim, at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code Tim, to receive your first month free. 
Yo, let's talk about credit, okay? I went a long time without knowing that my credit was trash, okay? Because I had just made some stupid decisions in the past. I just didn't know how it worked, okay? And that's why I have with Credit Karma, okay? Creditkarma.com slash loan offers, okay? All lowercase and there's an S at the end. Y'all should F with it because they really do help. They're most known for offering free credit scores and credit monitoring, but they also help their members with all sorts of other services like finding auto insurance, opening free savings accounts, finding a great credit card, finding a great personal loan, and Credit Karma is always 100% free, okay? It just takes a few minutes to sign up, all right? And just so you know, checking with Credit Karma won't affect your credit scores. And they show their members their chances of approval, allowing them to apply with less fear of getting turned down. Now, getting loans are important out here in these streets. Let me tell you, when I was trying to buy this house, getting a loan was one of the most difficult processes I ever had to go through, okay? Their members save an average of 25% on interest rates when they compare personal loan offers on Credit Karma. So y'all should F with Credit Karma. I got no, no chaser link for you, but just, just use creditkarma.com slash loan offers with an S, all right? Yes, yes. Oh, I ain't never been single. Jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, yeah, men like bro. crazy women. Trust. <laughs> Trust. I, I can wear these little bobo shoes and, you know, this little Target dress and still pull them. Trust. Oh, oh I yes. We see the ass in that dress. Even when she was <laughs> with you, sucker. That's why you walk in <laughs> 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 Hey, that <laughs> wasn't going to say that. <laughs> you ain't got no sense at all. We all did still that. Still ghetto, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, still ghetto. Yeah. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I definitely double take them. Right. Everybody grab the microphone. <laughs> Shh, don't say nothing. What them green lips do? Like, I'm just telling you. <laughs> oh, man. That's beautiful. All right, we got some questions uh -oh. from Instagram. Just to keep a few questions uh -oh. here for Glozell. I like this. Y'all make this fun. I mean, we're just here to have a good time. I'm like, I know Timothy. I'm like, who are these other people? But uh, they're, they're great. You got a great team here. Yeah, we're just yeah, chilling. Yeah. We're just hanging yeah. out. Uh -huh. um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, there's a girl named Asia.et who sent so many questions for you because she just <laughs> oh, loves you. Um, first of all, she says, can you please tell her how I said she was such a big part of my childhood, LOL. Does she remember me from Costco. <laughs> right, right. When we were about to she, she thought I paid for your pizza. <laughs> Yes. Okay, here, okay, here's a question along the same lines of what we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. um, how do you still have the motivation and passion to continue doing YouTube? Well, you got to eat. <laughs> yeah. So how do you have the motivation and passion? And sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you, like right when I'm like, okay, I can't do this. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I had uh, dwindled down everything, but now my daughter and I, we have to move. Mm -hmm. We have to do, and, and Somehow things keep making a way. It's like, oh, someone want to do a video where, uh, do you know anybody who needs to move? So I ended up moving, you know, stuff for free and things. Get, so you, it's like you're still being cared when you're a good person. I feel like I'm on the good side mm -hmm. of, of energy, source, mm -hmm. God, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps carrying me. Dude, dude. So and now I'm finally um, motivated in my head. You know, I know like I had to keep going, but I didn't, I didn't, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing anything. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> yeah. then somebody was like, we need you to do this. We'll pay you this much. I'm like, I used to get paid so much, but yeah. thank you. I will take it <laughs> right. because my daughter needs to eat. How about that? Yeah. Right. You know, and I'm still keeping her in all these classes. I'm doing my best to keep her, you know, in the private school. It's like, that's taking up everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything you'll be surprised what you do, you know. And right. I'm like, I could live a whole lot better if you was going to a public school. <laughs> you know? Do you really need like to learn Mandarin? Eat, you know? <laughs> what are you gonna do with Mandarin? <laughs> she she be cussing me out, and I'm like, I don't even know what like, you're saying. I'm well, so I proud of you. Too. She's like, Mom, look what you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so like, glad you don't take this class with me. Mom. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Um. So okay, to stay stay motivated, I, it's not always. The state, I'm not always motivated yeah. to do it, but I know that I need to keep moving. Right. Yeah. You know, because you can be on the right road and still get run over if you don't move. Mm. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. No, that's, that's a bar. Right there. Ooh. That's a bar. So <laughs> you, you just Time stamp keep, that. keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Let me let's let's marinate on that. Like that is. You can be on the right road and mm -hmm. still get run over. Yeah. If you don't you ain't move. move. If you don't move, that's. Yeah. I mean, it's all about being able to move and then move, keep and right. then keep going yes, down the road. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I Bob used Lee. to really try to hold on to the old team that I was always mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. You know, they're gone on and they're, they're, they were still there, you know, and they're still doing great on the Internet and doing different things and being in Big Brother's houses and other stuff <laughs> and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, 
what about me? You know, and yeah. I, I would beg, like, let me be your opener for this. Let me do that. Da, 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 da. But, you know, there's a time where it had to happen like that because you know that you didn't, you don't need them. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and things will flip and like, here, it, it, and it's flipping now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's right. Fuck them YouTubers. Mm. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay, here's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. What is... This is also from Asia.et. Hey, Asia. What is Glozell's craziest drunk moment? Laugh, cry emoji. Oh, okay. My craziest drunk... Um, that you remember? That I remember is I've never had alcohol in my life. That's what I was about to... I was I've like, why are you asking? Because, is that why she put the laughing? Is this an inside joke? Well, I don't know because I read this question and she seems like such a fan. I'm like, does she know something I don't know? Yeah. Right. An inside joke. Never never I'm smoked like, anything. But okay. I'm telling you, but like the last couple of years would have been the time to try it. Uh-huh. You thought so I'm about like, it. I would like to not know anything that's going on in my life right now. Yes. Yeah, so, no, I haven't. Because I read that never. question. I'm never like, smoked anything. Never... No, Gummy, no, no, yeah, yes, but one day, and of course, I'll have it filmed. <laughs> but, um, well, maybe you and Rick can do it, but I can, oh, Rick's, never, Rick's no, also no, never smoked. Never smoked. Never that's seen that people just assume, like, like you get tarped up on right. you. Yeah. Look, I do, yeah, <laughs> but, but these non blacks over here, wow, all the things, wow, all the these things. others, <laughs> wow, you know, man, well, that's what we're doing. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drink my caffeinated. <laughs> Yeah, that's crack. Right. We yeah, the that's Red right. Bull today yeah. because my wife is sick of me being right. drunk. It's my fault. Guys, <laughs> you know I'm all about health. Don't do these things in front of me. <laughs> the <rubs his belly. laughs> oh, man. Yeah, because I read that and I was like, if I, if Gozelle was drinking like that, like we, we, we would have had something <laughs> on the set of Escape yeah, the Night. It would have been a better show. <laughs> you know, she had been drunk. So. Mm -mm. All right. You silly, Asia. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Cool. Okay, sure. Uh, Shiv Shivmali, okay. Chamley Shivmali, craziest thing you've eaten because you've done so many challenges. Oh, craziest okay. thing you've eaten, and did you? Oh, and did you have any problems? Oh, because you've all done all these eating challenges, I guess. Did you have? Did they affect your weight or health negatively? Oh, did they? Affect, okay. Well, when I did the sit, what are y'all laughing about? He, no, he like, almost hit her in the face with his <laughs> hand. Did I? <laughs> I, I, I look, I'm like, what is happening? Her hand was here. Uh, oh, it was a most. Oh, yeah. what are these? And I looked at the hand and I was like, oh, is it going to hit me? <laughs> sure. Uh, so, uh, uh, craziest uh, thing. Uh, yeah, bam. <laughs> knock her out. Um, crazy. The Nacinema Challenge was... Who? Oh, the cinnamon, cinnamon challenge. Okay. I wouldn't think was crazy. When if even in the beginning of it, I'm like, I don't even know why this is a challenge. Just that was the first video I've done that was a suggestion. Right. Everything else was something I made up, created. I'm like, but people keep asking me to do this stupid thing, and then, so I almost, literally almost died. That one was yeah. a killer. I yeah. literally almost I died. <laughs> like my my voice has not been the same wow. since then. Like I burned up my, my vocal cord. Vocal oh God! Cord. Yes, like I was that? on. I was showing the doctors. I was you on doctor doctor Oz. But I had I did like a gallon. Yeah. You know so. Yes, right. that was, and I was hallucinating, what? and I was like, "Anybody else see the dancing dog? Cause he did." Your other leg broke. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm just like <laughs> having, still. having a hard time. Oh, shit. But the most exotic thing was uh, I had an octopus, and okay. and then like it still has suckers, like it's still stuck. Live. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Oh, it happen. was. Yeah, yeah, I've it had, was. And it chopped, it, you had it chopped up or the whole thing? No, the whole. It oh, was you a little one. The whole body. Yeah, I was like, I can do this. People <laughs> yeah, do that. I can do this. And yes. then, and it's. And I'm like trying to, and I was like, you know what? I can't do this. Was torture for me, not so. That was the crazy. You didn't swallow it. I couldn't. Ah. I, cu I couldn't. It was. It was sticking. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. I mean, uh, so I. I did. Uh, I've never done that. The live octopus. No. Not even the chopped up ones. No. Oh, high key. Moves. Nikki Blades. High key. It's kind of good. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> if you go to the Korean barbecue spots where they chop it up and with a little sauce, I liked it. But like, if it's moving, like. Yeah. I, mm -mm. I, I did not like it. I did it though, but it, did. it didn't okay. taste good. It wasn't even like okay. a, oh, this feels gross. Like to me, it didn't taste good. I, I, I liked it with the, with the sauce they give to you. I, I'll send you a video of me eating it because it's kind of like, oh. Um, but when I was doing that video, it was like four people in Korea die every year from me eating the choking on the <laughs> yeah, suffocating people do on die the, from it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I chewed die, it up like, oh. so much. <laughs> Your video hits go up. And you're like, oh. All right. Um, well, I feel like it's kind of repetitive because they. Big, People do ask you the same questions. Yeah, big, a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. Biggie Ziki, I mean, I guess you might be able to have a different answer for this. Um, 
Biggie Ziggy asks, Biggie Ziggy? what is the most challenging aspect for you to maintain a presence on YouTube? Okay, I guess it's kind of different because this is more about your current, what you're doing now on YouTube. Well, it said maintain a presence. <laughs> yeah. Because um, a lot of my videos didn't, didn't have words. Like you can look at it and understand what's going on. Okay. They get spread a lot, mm -hmm. you know, in different countries they're allowed because you're like, she didn't say this, she didn't mm -hmm. say that. And I had on clothes, yeah. you know, um, that they, they do get spread a lot. And that's has kept my presence because they will show them in schools. Mm. Now, a teacher doesn't mind showing it in a classroom. Do not eat cinnamon. You, you can watch it at, at your church program at the temple. Look at this. You know, it doesn't, mm. it's not harming anybody. It's not political. Right. You know, it's not racist. You know, it's, it's like, so... That's it helps keep my presence mm. that I'm not uh, also not dogging anybody, mm. you know. Yeah, I, I, let me tell you because I was also supposed to do something at the White House with some YouTubers, but my content did not vet. Yeah. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> they vet. They like, we gotta vet you, and they said, oh, you didn't pass the. I was like, oh, all right, well, all right. Then. You well, surprised. well, with me, I I didn't show a, I, not a piece of ID, not a blood test, not a passport, <laughs> like nothing, and wow. then it. It dawned on me. I'm like, they know everything about you. Yes, mm -hmm. like, they don't. They don't need you to bring your idea or anything mm -hmm. because they already know everything. Like we got, know? we got green lips at the front. Yeah. Of the head, <laughs> you know? Yes, I was like, okay. <laughs> and I was loud at the White House. I'm like, can you please? I was like, how many brothers you see laying in a, a, a helicopter in his own backyard? And you know, mm -hmm. you know, walking. Hello, I was like. Oh. You said, wait, he was laying in a helicopter he, in the backyard? No, they, they landed. Landing, oh. No, he was just like sunbathing. Oh I thought he was chilling on the helicopter. No, he was just like, hey, I'm the president, I'm the pope. You know, uh -uh. Yeah. I thought he had like a setup. The YouTubers walked in and no, all like, was chilling. Just like, 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 yes, wouldn't well, that be great? Uh, hello? How did he smell? He smelled like sandalwood and power. <laughs> mm, yes, yes, I'll never forget. Yes, he smelled good. I was, I was right on his neck. They said, "Don't touch him." So you was like, and I was like, ah! you know. I, and then I was like, "Oh no, my hand!" It, it seemed like forever, but my hands was locked. I was like, <laughs> "They're gonna shoot me right here." And then I was like, "Oh, they can't shoot me because I'm too close to him." And then I'm like, "Oh," and he's like, "Uh, oh, I'll let go, Glozell." And I was like, "Oh, he knows my name." <laughs> and then so I was like, "Oh." Okay. He said, I "All this was seconds, but I, it just yeah. went through my head so slow." Oh, yeah. He said, "I see that thing. I see the thing poking, <laughs> and it's all right." Uh, <laughs> all right, T N L E A K T N Leak. All right, says hi, Glozel. Hi, Leak. What's next for you, career wise? What's next for me, career wise? I'm going to put out there. You'll see me on television, more television and film, and more more voiceovers. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I, what I did learn is even. I guess I don't know if I would say this about relationships, but diversify. Okay, you know, all my eggs was in one basket, mm. one YouTube basket, and uh, I'm gonna put it out there: I love YouTube. Where would I be without it? Mm -hmm. However, I had to figure out something else. Mm. Yeah. You know, I had to do something else. Figure out something else, and literally, the world closed, which was actually great because they couldn't kick you out. Mm -hmm. You know. They couldn't. I was like, eviction notice? Yeah. And I was on Vanity, in Vanity Fair, same day. And I was oh, like, that's crazy. the landlord did not care. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's so... <clears throat> you know, Tupac said it best. He's like, F the fame, give me the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. Where you want everybody to know your name. Well, like, that don't mean nothing. Right. That's why he ran off to Cuba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the people, they'll run to Cuba. They'll run to Africa. They get out of here. They got to find themselves. Whatever. So you got an eviction notice the same day you had... Uh, uh, I was, Vanity, Vanity Fair came out. Yes, wow. the same day. So I was just like, Ain't this something? Yeah. You know? yeah. But uh, you, you just like like I said before, you gotta keep going. Yes. You know. That's all you. Can and do. so now I have. I don't. You gonna have green lipstick on your <laughs> microphone? That okay? So I'm with UTA, and I'm like going out for auditions. Like I said, Tracy Ellis Ross and Kate and Sherry Shepard. I'm like, oh, uh, there's another one, Yvette Nicole Brown. Now she's she's directing. I'm like, good, good. <laughs> Good, keep Don't giving her projects. <laughs> Please stop showing up to these auditions. You know, and then, I, then I'll get something. Then I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm in. You know, and I'll get all the jobs. Yeah. You know, it'll be greenish. I'll be on greenish. Greenish. Yes. Hell yeah. Greenish. Coming out in March. <laughs> yes, yes. Greenish. Um, it's so funny because, you know, one time, one time an audition was sent to me and they sent the script like 11 times and I was confused. And I was like, hey, why did y'all send the script to me so many times? Until I looked at what each script was titled and it was like this, the name of the show and then it was Tim Chantharong my name and then it was like Bobby Lee <gasps> and it was the same script and it was like 
uh, another Asian dude, and they had accidentally sent me everybody else's name that no. was also going for this part. No. Uh, I didn't get the part. Luckily, but I also heard the show was whack when it came out. So, yeah. woo, blessings. Who, who got the part? Bobby Lee. Who knows, man? Jamie uh, Lynn. Wasn't it <laughs> just any rant? It's a, a Asian, I'm some a, Asian dude. I'm I'm go, Dr. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Um, yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Okay, okay. We got one more question here. Um, <laughs> someone asked, well, I mean, I, I think I know the answer to this one. Uh, someone says, would you ever do the cinnamon challenge again? That's from D the Barber. <laughs> oh, would I ever do the cinnamon challenge again? No, never. Never do it again. I feel my voice going out right now. Um, but I would like to, you know, thinking about it on it now, to come up with my own spices or something. You okay, know? capitalize. I'm so still associated with cinnamon. Okay, so this is a glow cell cinnamon and this is a glow cell salt and pepper, you know? <laughs> you know what's funny? So, okay, so I, I'm on this MTV show called Deliciousness where we react to food clips. And we're watching clips, uh, reacting to them. And then, lo and behold... A clip of Glozell in her bathing suit eating Cheerios in a bathtub <laughs> full of that. milk and Cheerios. <laughs> yes. I was like, hey, Glozell! <laughs> <laughs> yes. like, wow! Hey. I recognize that behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah and I've had your foot in my mouth. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> this is true. Like, literally. That's a gross foot. Yeah. It was it was wet and salty. <laughs> I believe that. And I'm like, why am I because it was like we were been walking around. It was like, I don't know. Look, first Bitcoin of all, or something. First, yeah, no, 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 no. I'll tell you exactly what it was. First, first of all, had I known my toes were gonna be in her mouth, I wouldn't have been walking around, right? It, it was your wife now is like, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What? She, it was it was <laughs> either feet licked? It was either a VidCon yeah, or fuck. or it's like wet. or might have been back behind the scenes escape the night. Yeah, but it was it we were being scenes. silly. Yeah. I had my shoes off. We're chilling, <laughs> and I made a joke. I put my sock up, and then Glozell was like, and she just bit it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's wet and something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it tastes like octopus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Move, moving around. Yeah, with the sauce. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't know. I did not know my toe was gonna be in Glozell's mouth. Right, yeah, you just yeah. never know. But <laughs> and that was the beginning of my. <laughs> Reverse foot fetish. Right. Where, <laughs> yeah, I just like my toe in people's mouths. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, that was out. I mean, shit. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. I feel like that was a good rapping point. Yeah, right there. that was great. I had a great time with you all. Yeah, it was a good one. It was. Mm. Oh wait, it was. wait. Speaking speaking of toes, when can we see Glozell on OnlyFans? Oh, you can't get naked no more. So what's the point, right? <laughs> oh no, you can. They changed it. Oh, they changed it back. Yeah, no, they they, they changed it back to naked. It's your time. <laughs> hey, I'm glad that there was a time they changed it because there was a time like, well, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> maybe that's well, every you day. Know, me and my Hanes five pack draws. You hey. know, hey, there's somebody. <laughs> there's somebody. Let me see it. But, uh, all right, y'all. Let us know if you want to see Glozell on OnlyFans. I, I want to know. No, they, they definitely they do. Because they yeah. are like different impersonation. Not, not that I know, but people tell me that on some sites that they'll, they'll be like somebody that is in... It dresses you? Dresses me. Oh, You know, like in a cage doing weird things, you know, on one of those XX sites. Interesting. Yes, yes. No, 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 Tim, not now. Yes. <laughs> I already know what you're about to do. Yes, Don't yes. do it right now. Just and wait. And my agent, I was like, do you know? Like, this is, you know, Glozell. You know it would be hilarious. It's just her. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh-huh. The people pretending to be me, they look a lot like me. It's like, yeah, Schmozel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, shit. Thank you once again for uh, coming you, through. Thank you Make for sure y'all follow Glozel on everything. All things Glozel. I'm still you. <laughs> and anything else you want to say or plug before we get out of here? Uh, no, basically that. Please follow me on all things Glozel. YouTube. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's all good. Yes, it was so good to have you here. Thank you. Um, TikTok, TikTok. 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 Um, I always love when I can reconnect with, you know, someone yeah. from the OG YouTube days. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Day. And I'm glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're motivated yes, again to get yes, back on yes. the shit. Thank um, thank y'all for watching and listening. No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chantaronsu. I'm Ricky Shuck. I'm Nikki Blade. Bye. Bye.